at a friend of mine's party. Matter of fact, we visit with his, his brother's a good friend of the show, Blake Eddins with the Arkansas Sports Radio. His, his little brother, Bart, uh, played at Auburn, and okay. Bart and I were good friends. He he married an Auburn uh, volleyball player. Now they're actually expecting a son that's due on the same day as my daughter's due. Okay, so uh, a volleyball player and a football player got married. What do you have? Uh, hopefully you got a tackle uh, or something. <laughs> 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 but uh, at their wedding, <laughs> Philip Lutzenkirchen was, uh, was there. And, uh, of course, the egg ended up being on my face because – I sit down at the church next to him, not knowing, you know, I, I had no clue who he was. I just sit down and I actually arrived just right on time. And I look over and I'm with a friend of mine who I played ball with in Alabama. And I look over and I see him. I'm like, man, I'm sitting right next to Philip Hudson Kirkin. You know, just saying it like. To yourself? Yeah, I can't believe of all people. You know, one of my least favorite players. Yeah. And uh, so we ended up kind of jarring back and forth. And one of those guys just. Um, you know, didn't really have an attitude, didn't have a, didn't have anything that I pegged him to be like, to be honest yeah. with you. Uh, and that was one of the things at church this Sunday, uh, was talking about quit being so judgmental of people. You're not the person to judge. Yeah. The judgment is not for us. You know, we're, we're supposed to be down here and carry out what he asks us to do. Let him do his job. If you want, he's the, the ultimate judge. And, uh, as I was thinking about that, that, Philip is is one of those guys that that I missed on that I that I judged that I thought was a certain way, all because of a damn football game. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and I, I, it was an expectation of myself that I, I disappointed myself. Yeah, you you know what I'm saying? I, I disappointed myself. I let something that really, in the grand scheme of things, does not matter uh, affect in the way I thought of somebody that ended up being a, a really cool person that I had a lot of fun with. Yeah. You know, the, the basic definition uh, Baron, of prejudices is of being prejudiced means you prejudge and, and, and prejudging goes from, uh, from, from something that we all do to racist or bigot. When you meet that person and you still refuse to let the evidence you now have change your opinion. And, and that's what happens a lot of times with this Alabama Auburn robbery. There's a lot of prejudices out there and it doesn't really matter what happens. You still, <laughs> you still move past. And so in this robbery, if I could put in, uh, quotation marks, uh, there's a lot of bigotry and racism and whatever you want to call it. In other words, that happens out of this rivalry. But the reality of it is a lot of the players, some of us grew up as friends. I had a best friend. My high school teammate's dad uh, was my my high school coach. His son, two of his sons played at Auburn while I was here. So so we had that rivalry, and we were actually friends, and there's a picture of him and I like embracing after the game, and, and that made all over the place uh, when we lost to, to Auburn. But my point behind that is, Barry, you were talking about uh, judgment and different things like that. And, and I always tell people, you know, a, as a believer, um, I know that I deal with, uh, deal with grief and loss uh, in a way that I know I'm going to see that person again. Um, uh, and, and, and I don't know how other people deal with it, but I will, I will, I see, can I read just a couple things just to sure. provide some comfort? Cause there's going to be other people who, who look, may even, not if be, got, even if you didn't know Phil that's right, Kirkin, or you don't even care, you, I know you, everyone's gonna, lost somebody at some point. Exactly. And in Lamentations three says for no one is cast off by the Lord forever, though he brings grief, he would show compassion. So great is his unfailing love for he does not willingly bring affliction or grief to anyone. And then Matthew eleven twenty eight says, "Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest." And, and to me, those two scriptures together kind of because th- when it happens, th- the first thing is why, wow, because because my first thought was, man, I'm forty four. That 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 could have been me. I mean, he, he was in the back seat of a car, um, was not driving. Was I, I don't know what he was doing at that point, but either way, he wasn't driving. And 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 and, and I've had people say, "Well, he shouldn't have been out doing this, 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 this oh. and that." But here's here's my point. I go, I, I, I'm kind of the realist. I go, how many times have I done something stupid? Oh man, that 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 could have ended worse than what publicly came out. I, 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 I'm just going to step out on a limb, Martin. I'm just, just going to step out there. I would say that I've done ten times more dumb stuff than you have. I but, just, but, but, but but guess what? How many dumb things does it take for someone to lose their life? One. 
And you see what I'm saying? So 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 sometimes we we have the tendency to look and go, well, he young guy, he was out. It was late in the night, blah blah blah. And but it, none of that matters at, at this moment. The family needs to to to, to know that there's nothing they can change about what he did or didn't do. But what we can do is for those of us who 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 believe or or who want to let's be of comfort to anyone who has lost a loved one we just happen to be talking about philip because that's the way our our nation works uh the other young man uh aaron what was his name again aaron douglas aaron douglas um from georgia who lost his life just, oh oh excuse uh, me ian davis ian, i'm sorry ian davis. aaron douglas lost his life here for the alabama program yeah. several uh, years ago um but in a, and, and and we just have to remember and pray for those families and and that comfort. That see, here's here's the strange thing. I read that and says he's going to comfort. Well, you know how he comforts. He comforts through you and I. It, it, it's, it's the fact that that if Baron, I'm in relationship with Baron and Baron struggles, then I pick up the phone and call Baron. I, I take something to Baron's house to say, hey, man, I'm just thinking about you, uh, if I can help you. So the comfort doesn't come through this mystical thing. The comfort comes through you and I uh, being there in, uh, for one another. And at this moment, the, the rivalry does not matter at all. I know that's how you and I, you know, make our living a lot of times doing that. But the reality is in these types of moments, it just doesn't matter. And I'm 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 bad about it. Look, man, I I stereotype and I'm prejudiced against Auburn people, Auburn fans. I I am openly admit it. Um, but yesterday, all I could think about when I got that news, and I was mid breakfast, could not eat, could barely swallow what I had in my mouth because I was I was eating while I, was, I, I got the message, and um, you know, all I could think about was my group of guys, how close we are, mm -hmm. uh, how utterly devastating. And devastating isn't even a good word. It doesn't really put the feelings that I would have. Um, if it were, if it were the roles were reversed and it was someone in my group or, 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 you know, someone in my family, it just, I think this is one of the figures, uh, and because of, of the play that he made in tw 2010, and he was recruited by both teams. Uh, he's an Alabama kid, born and bred. Uh, Derek Thomas would be another guy that, that that I would say had that effect in the passing uh, between where both fan bases looked at it and said, "Okay, this is a little bit bigger than than this rivalry." And let me tell you, it's a big rivalry. Yeah, and, and when Derek lost his life, it was it was tragic, and unfortunately, Derek had some ups and downs. You know, where the emotions got to, he was in a wreck, and then. He, he was paralyzed, and 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 we 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 grieved over his loss of being able to play football. Then then he started to get better, Baron, and then boom, just like that, you you, you got that news, and and once again, uh, both in the collegiate level, Alabama, Auburn, and in the pros, it just reverberated. And I think part of that is, um, like it, love it, hate it, whatever. We idolize sports figures in this country. And when they're young and at the peak, they're almost like Hercules where we think they're uh, indestructible. And it's just such a shock when we lose one. And Derek Thomas definitely uh, was one of those uh, polarizing in a positive way figures uh, when he passed away for this rivalry. I, I was too young to remember it. Um, I, well, he passed away in what, 93? Three, four, somewhere right. I, I was, I, I was just out of college when it happened. Yeah, so I, mean, I wasn't I, very old. I was putting very old. I'm not very old now. Yeah, I was six or I was six or seven. Thanks, Barry. I do remember Derek Thomas. I do remember him, but right. I don't remember like his the, the, his passing. Yeah, it was it was tragic. And uh, you know, for for someone to give that impact, and I, I just go back to that that saying that, and I I, I use it a, a lot in my own thoughts. You know, you die twice. Once when you take your last breath, and the, and the last time when someone says your name for the last time on earth. Uh, you're talking about two people that, in a rivalry that is this big, think about how, how powerful of a person that is. You know, people talk about stages and platforms and, and to whom much is given, much is expected. Think about how much life that is that you impact. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I mean... There are people that go through and and go through life. There's hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of people that don't impact anyone. Right. You know they 
they come in and they leave as a as a you know a leaf in the wind. I mean, yeah. there's just no impact. And then you have guys like this, these these type figures that become larger than the largest rivalry that I know of. Yeah. And, and, and the key there, Baron, is – and we're not saying that someone has to be a celebrity to have impact. That's that's not what we're communicating here. Uh, so, so if you, you're only impacting your family, you do that, and you live a life that lives beyond you. But when you talk about this Alabama-Auburn rivalry, you know, there's there's – think about how many guys have played in this rivalry and how how, how many names would have this type of impact. And, and that's a short list in comparison – to it, uh, and, and that's why I want to encourage, man, every player out there that played in this rivalry, Baron, that's in this rivalry, and if there's any young kids right now listening that someday is going to play in this rivalry, you have a great opportunity. You have a great opportunity to to live a life in such a way that even when your life here is done, your name continues to be mentioned in a positive light and what it means to those who who you've left behind. And and I just, I, like I said, le- legacy is to me is what it's about, Baron, because, you know, when you really think about in the scheme of things, 25 years, 80 years, is that really a long time? Not compared to what – Eternity, what, no. Not, not, not compared to eternity and not compared to what you leave behind, Baron. What, you know, your, your kids, your grandkids. I mean – I, I didn't have a close relationship with my my grandfather, you know, and so so sometimes even I'm, I'm envious when I hear you talk about those relationships because I didn't have that, right? And so so I want to make sure that if I get that opportunity when I when that opportunity presents itself that I'm 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 building upon that so that when I'm long gone, <laughs> the life that I live is still impacting those who are behind. You listen to Houston Huber this morning as we're talking about the life of Philip Letzenkirk, and uh, the, the the quote that I keep reading uh, mm-hmm. this morning was actually given to me by a teammate of mine, Charles Hoke, uh, who's now in, in New York City. I went to visit him about a year and a half ago, kind of going through a tough time. Uh, in the scheme of things, for other people's troubles, not that big a deal, but it was a big deal to me at the time. Right. Uh, and that's the thing about stress and depression. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what everybody else thinks. If it's a big deal to you, it's a big deal. It's, per- it's personal. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he, he, he gave me that quote. And um, the first person I thought of, and I, I know this is kind of a side topic, was Mal Moore. Uh, you talk about someone in this rivalry who's never going to, to die. Uh, Mal Moore, his, his impact will live forever. Mal Moore on earth will live forever. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he has a building name after him. Obviously that makes it easy, but, uh, you know, Philip, I, I think is going to be one of those guys that's going to live for a long time only because of, like you mentioned, what he was able to do in the biggest uh, moment in the biggest moment of outside of this year it might be the only thing that's, that's trumped it. I, I think it still trumps it in, in, in longevity. Th- that would be a special play. But what that led to, had they went on to win a national championship, the Chris Davis play would be greater. But that play enabled them to go on to win that national championship. Uh, uh, and, and therefore, he'll always have that special place uh, in the Auburn family. Uh, and, of course, on our side, <laughs> it may not be on the, the mantle. Infamous. <laughs> yeah, maybe. it won't be on the mantle, but it will always be remembered as uh, as an asterisk of the one that got away.